Good afternoon, guys. This is Paula back to do a create with me. And I um, have no idea what I'm going to do, except I will tell you I changed my mind. And I am doing another Christmas book, a uh, little golden book. And it's because I forgot that I really wanted to do this one this year. And it is... The biggest, most beautiful Christmas tree. And it's about little field mice. And it's a precious story. Um, here is the spine. It's a little village with a lot of trees. And these little characters live in this tree and don't understand why Santa can't find them. And they decorate and decorate. And let me show you the... A close-up of the lace it's a lavender this book has got hints of lavender and blue so all the paper in this book except for one sheet is trees since it's kind of the theme of this of the the book so today we're not going to work on the actual book but I just wanted to show you um, what it was going to look like. And um, don't you see the little characters? It's going to be a super cute, cute story. And um, so, if you didn't know, I put the Rudolph book on Etsy. And I also put my design team a book, the three ring binder, the gray one um, from last month has the tags and the pockets and all the embellishments. Put it on Etsy, and there's still one book, the Poinsettia book on Etsy, which was one of my very favorite. So, everybody to each their own on what they like, right? So, I am just going, you know, because I don't have tons of time to um, think of tons of new things to do right now because I'm just trying to get get things done for um, before Christmas. I am not going to worry about doing something new and exciting. I've got some things up my sleeves, but I'm just going to start making embellishments. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I do know I'm going to do a bingo card because it's in the right blue. Um, I do know I'm going to do a little file card different than what we did before. It's got three pieces and we're not using the machine on it. Um, I know that I'm going to use some silver and blue glitter paper. It's very thin. It's not the big heavy stuff. Um, we may decoupage and we'll just see how our time goes. And I thought we would do um, some stuff with old vintage paper and and then I want to cut some of my little uh, templates out and oh one other thing I want to do you can tell I haven't got anything ready for this I want to do these I just pulled out some of my sample stuff um, I don't know what I'm gonna do I have no idea so let's just see what happens let's do this little journaling uh, folder first. Let me move all this stuff out of the way. I just moved all the way on here. Um, do you notice anything new? I got a new mat for my table. I've been wanting the Tim Holtz uh, Tonic Studios uh, mat for some time now. And um, my husband got it for me for my anniversary. So they actually had them at my retreat. So I went ahead and picked it up there. And um, it's got this really cool, I don't know what I did with it. Uh, really cool metal on one side and straight edge on the other side. Um, ruler that you use to uh, find center. You can find center from the top or the bottom. But I, I haven't... Um, I need to gather up some of the stuff I got at my retreat so you can kind of have an idea. Now, I just have this old brown thing here because when I made this initially, I made it as a, a sample, you know, and it's about six inches wide. 
so since we have like little village houses on the spine, I thought we could do some little village houses that have trees around them because in these trees are the little field mice. And so I'm going to cut this down to, uh oh, there went my scoreboard. Sorry, guys. It's one of those days. Okay. Um, I feel like I've been kind of running around like a crazy lady trying to get things done. So I'm cutting this at six inches. So to be six by 12. And I think I, I think I want it at 12. Let me see. Yes, because we're going to fold it over one inch. As soon as I pick up my scoreboard, <laughs> I'm going to bring it up here so we can score it. Although this is my small score, I did get a new bone folder. It's by close to my heart, but it's so much better than what I have. And, um, because all I had was what was on the, the, um, scoreboard. And I've been wanting to get a nice one for a long time. Okay, now this is not my big scoreboard, so we may have to flip it over. But probably not because we're just going to fold. Now this is black on the inside. Don't fret because we're still going to cut out some white paper to put in the base of this. Now I have not ever done that, so I don't know how it's going to turn out. We're going to score at one inch, which, no, I think three-fourths of an inch. Three-fourths of an inch on that end and then we're not going to score the rest of it because I I want to wait until we have the white paper now I'm going to cut the white paper let me think how much smaller do we want to cut it let's cut it hmm it's just a regular piece of cardstock. Now we did the six inches on the other part, so let's do, um, <laughs> sorry if my, my, uh, mat is too long. I think I'm going to do five and a half inches. So that gives us plenty of room, um, around, you know, the surface. Now, because of that inch that's folded down, I'm going to take about, let's go like this and measure and see, so we can kind of see what we've got. I think I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it at the ends and just have a border here and here. So, let's see how long that is. Hmm. So, we're going to have it at 11 inches and we're going to take off just right at an inch. Okay, now... This is going to be inside here, and we will glue it, and we'll glue here and here, and then we'll do our folds, okay? All right. I hope you guys are doing good today. I ate something, and it, I, do you ever, it's bugging me, what it, there's a little crumb in there, or a little something, I had oatmeal is what it was. I ate oatmeal. And since I ate the, no the oatmeal, I've been eating the oatmeal. So I think before I do this, I'm just going to run some of this um, faded jeans. I'm going to stick with the faded jeans for this project because it has so much blue. But I'm going to tell you that I am not going to do it heavy on anything because I don't want it to be super over blue. But I didn't want to use vintage photo on this because it's just too cheery and happy. You know, it's it's Christmas, and it's I think that's a different time to use diff a different color. Um, it makes it a little more playful. Now I'm going to ink the edges, just because you know you'll have cut edges, and you don't want those to show. This is going to be a great, large journaling space. You could put your Christmas list here. You could put so much um, inside this little folded up journal. Now, what I did last time, if I remember right, let me think. When I made this originally, 
I didn't have, um, I better glue it down first and then decide how to do that. Let's do that. Uh, I didn't have um, any measurements for the rest of this. I just kind of folded. I eyeballed it. And so I'm not, I'm going to try my hardest not to go crazy with glue, guys. You'll be proud of me to hear me say that. Plus, it is a new bottle. So, I've got to get some hand sanitizer for my new little um, toy here. Because that's what Tim Holtz recommends you clean this glass uh, mat with. Now, I know everybody hears different things about different products. But, um, you know, I've, I've heard both. That you can't cut on it and you can cut on it. Um, Tim Holtz says you can cut on it, on this mat. And then I've had, uh, I've read re reviews that says you are not supposed to cut on it. So who do you believe? I, you know, I don't care one way or the other because I have, I have, um, cutting mats. And I don't, I really, I just wanted, I've been wanting it for the mixed media portion. Let me show you the mixed media portion. See it right there? We'll use that sometime. But right now, we don't have time. <laughs> We've got Christmas to deal with. So I shoved my white paper all the way up to my one inch that's folded over. Now, and what we're gonna do is, I kinda wanna let this dry just for a minute. You know, it doesn't take long for it to dry. And um, let's let it dry for one minute, and then we'll come back to it. All right, the next thing is I want to do the little file folder like we've done before, but this time do it different. We're going to ink it with the blue, so I'm just going to get that over with while we're waiting on the other thing to dry. And, um, yeah, we're going to ink it. I'm not going to ink the back because it's going to be put on the back cover or the front cover. I don't know yet haven't decided and I'm only going to ink the sides and the top because I'm going to do it different this time instead of sewing it I just want to show you how you can do things in a versatile, versatile way I'm only going to ink the sides this is a about a one and a quarter inch um, piece of manila folder that I'm going to put on the file folder so it can kind of bend out. I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. So in the past I put music on here. I'm gonna line these up like this. I'm not gonna round the corners on the front of the lower folder, but I'm gonna line them up and I'm gonna put them down inside this little hinge looking thing. But it's going to be like this. And then I'm going to run, it, run some glue across there Plus, I'm going to staple it, but first, let's run the glue. We want to make sure everything's lined up, and then there'll be no question as to how it, <laughs> yeah, I say that, then I move it. Okay, line everything up. Let's try this one more time, Paula. Okay. I've been so busy since I got home, you guys. I feel like I've been doing catch-up. You know how it is whenever you, I'm trying to accomplish as many journals as I can for my, for my subbies that want them. Because, um, you know, you kind of watch and wait till you find the one that you think that you would like best. And I get that. I do. Um, just so you know that if, if next year you decide you want a December daily from me, if you'll let me know ahead of time, we can try to work out some kind of custom thing where I can let you know what books I have. And Okay, now I'm going to glue that down right there with a big wad of glue on my finger. Make sure you guys can see. You can. Okay, now I'm going to hold that down for a second while I get a wet wipe. And I'm 
going to wipe that big blob off my finger. Okay, now I'm also going to run some glue across the back. Oh, crud. Oh, I thought I messed up. Huh. I didn't. Because the front is already staying down. But I want to make sure the sides are, are lined up here for the back, too. So I'm just going to glue this back portion down just with a strip of glue. Okay, now, front and back are glued down. Hold it for a few seconds to give it a chance to adhere. So I'm thinking, what do we want to cover this with? You know, I'm always so drawn to um, using music sheets on stuff like this. And um, not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just, you know, sometimes you just want to do something different. Um, so I'm thinking, um, no, I don't want to use that. I still want it to look like a file folder. Um, but I want it to, you know, also be usable. I'm going to staple on each end with my Tiny Attacher by Tim Holtz. Okay. And I'm not going to worry about the back because, again, we're going to um, use that. So, I'm thinking... Bear with me for a minute. I know I want to use this Merry Christmas, I think, on here. Not sure. Um, this is what you, this is what happens when you have no plan. <laughs> I have no plan, you guys. But that's okay. I mean, sometimes it's just fun to sit down and get started. Um, I do know that I, I want to... Um, I want it to be as, I want it to be about trees and ornaments and stockings and that type of thing. This is going to be the vintage card that is inside the book. This card is, it doesn't have the year, but it is an old card. And I just thought it was so cute. So that's going to go inside the book. It's going to be bound in. Uh, I don't even know what I did with the book. Isn't that crazy? Okay, now, let me look at some paper and lay that back there so I don't forget about it. Let me see what paper I have over here. Sorry, guys, I can't get everything under the camera. I wished I could. Okay, now, we've got our little folder. Do we want to add some paper on here or some music sheet? Everybody is screaming music sheet. I know you are. So, guess what? We're going to put music sheet on there. But, I think I want to um, tear it with the tear tool. So, uh, let me grab it. Where is my tear tool? Don't you love it when you just are going along and everything's going smooth and... Suddenly, you don't know where something is. I always keep it in this big bucket. Oh, my goodness. Well, we know what I'll be doing whenever um, we are finished here. I can't imagine. Let me step around the corner. I don't know what I did with it. That... That's annoying. I don't want that to be gone or missing. I wonder if I st if I put it in my bag for the crop. Let me look real fast. Which, you know, wouldn't shock me. Yes, I did. That's exactly what I did is I took it with me on the retreat. And there she is. <sighs> Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go, guys. All right, so I'm gonna measure it off of this right here. And I like to use the smaller side. 
And let me see if I can get one of the cleft notes out of here. You can, one of the things that's nice about this is you, of course, can line it up. And a lot of mats have that, but I especially like it whenever you're trying to do something that um, is kind of square like this, this folder. Okay, so I'm going to do about like that. Come on. All right. I'm working really hard not to let it be noisy because I know I've heard people complain about other people's mats being noisy. There's really nothing you can do about that, unfortunately, but I don't wear jewelry in general on camera. So hopefully we won't have any trouble and I can keep my scissors over on the little white mat. Okay, so I'm gonna put the Christmas music on the front, not the back. So, let's line this up again. Let me get it all nice and lined up so we know it will end up being straight. And, oh, it's still going to be a little big, so I need to take some more off of there. Let's just take it off of here. get that under a little better because it's just barely under there just barely under there so I don't know if I told you guys this or not please forgive me if I've told you this already um, we went to this vintage shop in Ohio and I I don't remember if I told you but there was a guy there that ran the shop and um, he was very expensive first of all but his excuse was, um, well, it's not, people will say stuff about things being, well, look, it was only 50 cents to start with. And he, he said, well, yes, but that was in 1935, you know, and just funny, weird stuff like that. And in my, I, I was just thinking in my head, you're overpriced, mister. You know, I still spent $106, you guys. Didn't keep me out of there. Um, but anyway, okay, I'm going to use the side that has the little joyfully up at the top. Because I'm out of Christmas sheet music. Man, I've used so... You know what? I don't want this to cover my staples. So, I'm going to take a little bit more off. I'm sorry, guys. I like my little staples on there. And I don't want it to take off my little staples. Sorry, sorry. You guys are probably screaming at me like, Paula, take off the staples. But I, I don't mind covering up the little fold as much as I do taking the little staples off because it just gives a character. Now I'm going to just barely ink it just to separate it from the folder. And um, anyway, so... I walk into this guy's store, and it's in a really good location. My husband and I walk in there, and I'm like, whoa, you know, this is a dump. You know, it looked like a hoarder's house. And um, and I, someone that hoarded, bless their heart. Anyway, and um, come to find out later, he tells me, that he purchases a lot of stuff from people that are hoarders. That they know him and he gets all these, um, you know, when, when, when someone that hoards stuff in their home, he gets all of that, um, people will call them, children of the hoarder will call when their parents are pass away, you know, to see if, how much he'd, he'll give them, you know. Listen, he has so many vintage clothes, you can't even visualize it. He said that Hollywood comes there, and Hollywood just doesn't understand why he won't ship to them. I'm like, he obviously doesn't want to make any money. 
But um, anyway, whoops, that looks crooked. Let me straighten it a little bit. Let's pull it off because it's wanting to become a friend already. Let me see if I can get it straight without holding it up in front of me. Uh, that's close enough. Anyway, and I, he says, now this stuff out here isn't priced because, um, you know, this is where we bring things. And I'm thinking, you bring things right in front of your door. Right, I mean, literally right in front of your door before you, um, you decide <laughs> to price it. I have this little piece of scrap left over from... Um, when I was doing the binding, this is the lined section from where I always line my, um, I'm going to see if I can cut it down just a little bit with the scissors without cutting everything too crazy and wonky. Today's word again is wonky. Okay, let's see. I'm thinking that would be pretty but I think it needs something to come make it pop. What do you think? How about some glitter? Not a lot, just a tiny bit of glitter. Just a tiny bit of glitter. And when I mean tiny bit, I mean like just a, a little sliver. You know, just around, just enough to make it pop. And let me lay it over here to see. I hate covering up most of the music, but I really like the way that looks. I'm gonna have to cut some more, either off the top or the bottom. I think I'm gonna go with the top, and the reason is because it doesn't cut people off like the bottom does. Um, okay, so let's go with this here and see what happens. Just line it up straight and just use your scissors. Don't even worry about getting your trimmer out because if you have these big scissors that I have, you almost don't need a trimmer. That's not true. Don't take that to heart. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I What I mean by that is these scissors are I cut so well. And now, are they going to be perfectly straight? No. But it, it's much better than a small pair of scissors because you have such a long span. I've never used big scissors before. I was kind of always thinking that's way too much, you know, to handle. But honestly, I love them. Okay, so now I'm going to glue this fabric on to the... I was going to make it a pocket. I know you guys are like thinking, pocket? But I don't want it to sag. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and add the fabric and maybe we'll make a pocket out of the silver or the blue glitter. We'll just see. Now I got to kind of bring it down a little bit so I can kind of line it up. Because I want it to have a little bit of blue on all four sides. What do you think? Now, if you could see this in person, you would love the dimension that this is going to give this little um, folder. Because, I, I mean, it looks like it's been popped up, but of course it hasn't. And I am going to go ahead and make a pocket here. Am I going to put anything in the pocket? Probably not. And the reason is, I mean, I might before it's over with, but I don't really want that look on this right now so but it'll give whoever purchases it the opportunity to put something in there they want a little hidden spot or something we all have so much to hide haha -ha. okay now I want that joyfully and the treble clef to show so I'm going to kind of bring it up But I still want to be able to see the music. Of 
course I got it all over me. I'm like thinking in my head, where did that come from? It's oozing off the side because I put it around the outside edges. I love this. I wish you could see it in person. I'd have you all over for a tea party if I could. No, not a tea party, <laughs> a crafting party. <laughs> I'm not a, a pie, party sorts of kind of person. Listen, I barely make it through Christmas anymore. But anyway, this place was, oh, you couldn't even hardly move in between the aisles. Especially, he had books up against a wall and had all these huge fur coats that were really cool old coats that were, I don't know how long they had been there, but he was so overpriced. All right, so there is this portion. Now back in here, I'm not sure what we want to do. Um, but I don't want to take a long time thinking about it. So you guys tell me, <laughs> like I can hear you. Um, I'm gonna see if I can, if I have any paper left over from the kit. Well, I didn't actually have a kit. I just, I just used a bunch of um, Christmas tree papers. So they were all pretty much, um, I've got this. What do you think about that? Hmm, it's a different blue. But that's okay because uh, you don't want to use the exact same thing. I will cut this out and we will lay it there and think about it. Now, it's not going to cover the tab, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm thinking... I'm thinking, I'm thinking... Let's see how long do we want that to be. Okay. And we will cut it off here. I don't remember how deep I made this. You guys know that you can just, I don't ever measure, just so you know, I never measure my, um, my little um, file folders. I just make them and hope for the best. Uh, I just kind of eyeball them. Usually I go by the size of the book. So if the book is like a little golden books, I usually make the paper and so forth five and three fourths. So I usually will go inch or inch and a half smaller. Okay, I want to show some of this. Okay. Too much time, Paula. Too much time. Just move on. Okay, so I am going to hole punch the corners on the top so that um, you can... Oh, my new Creative Memories hole punch. I've been, I've been using my old one from 1901, and so I got the new one, but I want to show you what it does. It's different. Uh, I find a scrap piece of paper. All I've done is have paper, and now I'm looking for a scrap piece. I did clean up. You'll be proud of me. I cleaned up. After that last book, it, my room looked like, oh, my word, it looked like a disaster area. Okay, here's a piece of snow paper. So you punch this way. Creative Memories is not paying me to demonstrate. <laughs> And then over here, they have a slit in the back so you can do the opposite. Let me get it in there. So you can, it gives you like the little tag print. I thought that was kind of fun. Different, huh? Okay, so now this is going to go in here and I am just going to place it in here and I can pull it up wherever I want it. Now, I did not use the hole punch on my actual folder because I should have, but I didn't. So you can tell they're kind of off, but I will fix those. Um, watch me try to fix them with my fancy Tim Holtz scissors and not be happy with the results. Well, that one's not looking too bad. 
um, it's just hard to freehand round corners. And before you know it, you don't like one little corner and you're fixing it. That one's not too bad. So I will ink this and I will, um, I think also what I want to do is add some, um, little, a little bit of glitz. Not a lot. Um, and when I say a little bit of glitz, I mean like, um, let me show you. Just some little metal things. They're not even real. They're not little, the, it, they're not the little dots that you think of, you know. Um, but are, they're the shiny little dots. <laughs> they're made by best, best Occasions, and I actually got those from my secret person at... Um, my retreat, my KISS retreat. And if you've never gone uh, to one of their t retreats, you need to check it out. Okay, now, I'm going to put a little glue back here. Just what I have to put so we don't have a big overflow. I must have a little cut on my left thumb because it keeps burning when I use the glue. Oh, great. I love it when that happens, when it just decides to come up to your paper. All right, now it doesn't matter that it doesn't go all the way down here because it's not gonna be open. If you get the glue that's on this part right here off before it um, dries, it will roll right off for you. And it did. It's all gone now. Now, you can put, you can decide to glue one side. I never do that until, and you know, we've talked about this before. I never do that until um, I know that where I'm going to put it. So, you can take these little gems, gosh, and they're just going everywhere. If you want to, you don't have to use little gems. And you can maybe put one up here. But where did it go? It wasn't even on the right finger. I would recommend you glue it. And um, I'm looking for my words, which who knows where they're at. You wouldn't believe how I cleaned up my table so well that I can't find anything right now. Um, I'm looking for a word to put right here. And um, I have some old sticker sheets that have um, different sayings on it. And I'm looking to see if I have anything with blue. Blue or, you know, whatever. I'm not that picky. I had a sheet that just had a bunch of different things on it, but as you know, I have been doing a lot of Christmas. And as it stands right now, here's one that says Christmas Day. Let's do that. The only thing is it is red, so let's just ink it up blue. There's a little bit of red in this this little house right here. Now, I would recommend that you go back and um, glue this little thing down. I'm not going to worry about it right now because, good grief, Paula. I didn't get that perfectly straight. And I'm sorry, I have to. Now you could doodle on this. You know me and my doodling. Okay, there you go. Now, as far as what's going to go in this pocket, I don't know yet. But I do love the way it turned out. What do you think? Okay, we're moving on. All right, the next thing we need to go back to our... If I can find what I did with it. Ah. 
why you don't clean up your, your area because then you can't find anything. Okay, now we're going back to the big folder. I want to put up my tear tools so it gives me a little bit more space. Now, how I do this, remember we cut this out 6 by 12, scored it one inch, and uh, added paper that was um, a quarter inch on each side smaller, just so that you can journal on here. Now, you take it and you take it from one side and you fold it straight up under your flap. Now you want to make sure that everything's lined up. I'm going to turn it around and make sure everything's lined up. You can make sure it's all lined up and then it may not be lined up. Because you glued this paper down, it is going to be thicker than what it would be. So I suggest you score it with your score, score tool. And not too hard because you don't want to rip your paper or crack it too off or too much. So you could, uh, I don't like that the everything's upside down from there, but whenever we fold this portion over, I'm trying to remember, let me find my sample. That's why I keep a sample. Okay, I did fold it up under there. Okay, and then I folded it down again. Okay, so I folded it like this, and I, now I'm going to leave it on the outside of that flap. And then um, I took it and I folded it back from the back side. And it's going to be bulky, I can tell you right now. It's going to be bulkier than if you just did it with a single sheet piece of paper. This is a trial for me. I did not try it ahead of time. It's a disclaimer. <laughs> I am giving you a disclaimer. You guys, I have not even made my Christmas cards. I am someone that makes my Christmas cards every year. Nope. We may be getting store-bought this year. I wish I had time to make the um, trifold Christmas cards for everybody I know, but it's not likely. Okay, so now this will go under this flap, but we have to glue the flap on each side, but you can't get this under the flap if you glue it, so you have to do it like a tag. So what I'm going to do is, got all of my folds made, I'm going to cut it like a tag. I'm actually going to see if I have a tag over here in my big pile of what looks like trash but it is not trash. I think what I'm gonna do instead is use my ruler. That sounds like a genius idea. You know, my new ruler that I can't find because it's not on my new mat. <laughs> okay, so if you put this over into a corner, let's say, let's put it in this corner right here. We're gonna see what happens. Line it up, just so you know, too, all these markings are down underneath the glass. So we're going to do, well, let me move up a little bit. We're going to do this little corner right here, okay, on, on this side where my finger is. I think I'm going to move it up again so you can really see well. This is what takes these videos so long, and you don't get as much as you want accomplished because... Little bitty things like that. So what I'm going to do, move some of this stuff around that I've got everywhere. Um, you're going to make it like a tag. So you can just decide how you want it. And I'm not going to cut on my new mat. I'm not going to take a chance. But I am going to mark. I don't think my pin, my lead, is coming out. And after you cut that off, the tag portion, then, let me show you. Can you see that? Then I'm going to take it and flip it over and use it on the other side. This is what I love about these scissors. You line them up, 
and you only have to bring them down one time. I love them, in case you didn't hear me the first time. Um, okay, so now you're going to put it on here. Let me see, is that the right way? Let me try it. Yeah, kind of thought I had it backwards there for a second. I'm going to go ahead and draw it again because this is kind of bulky to hold in your hands. And this way I don't have to worry about all my work being in vain, if you know what I mean. Okay, now after we cut this, we're going to need to ink the outside real fast like. I'm hoping that this isn't going to be too bulky for journals. Um, we'll just have to see. Okay, so we've got our tag looking, giant looking tag. And you're just, you're just going to hit it with some ink. Now, I don't know if this ended up lining up like I wanted it to. I've not made it with a print before. In other words, what's going to be up versus what's going to be down. Um, we'll look as soon as we fold it up. <laughs> I have a feeling that it's not going to be perfect, but I don't really care. Okay, let's glue this while we're down here. And I'm also going to staple it to give it some texture, just like we did the, uh, because it's double the paper, I want to make sure it holds. Plus, the stapler, you know, gives it more um, texture. Okay, and it's not even wanting to stay because it's got so much. Okay, it will stay, though, because I'm stapling it and gluing it. Okay, here we go. Now you fold this into your flap. Okay, so right now we're doing good. It's all the same. Up is up and down is down. And then we're going to fold this back. Look at that. Woohoo! And there you go. Now, we could run some beads or ribbon or something across here, but I really like the simplicity of this because it has, you know, I might, you know, put some dimensional trees or something on there. I'll let that be a surprise to you guys for the flip through. But look at that. Doesn't that turn out cute? I'm happy with it. It is thicker than I want, but we could also put a clip on here and I might do that. Um, I'm not sure. I might tie something around it with a little ribbon. But we've got two things done. Let me see how much time we've got. We might have time for one more thing in this video. Um, let's see if we can get this pocket done. Now, this is a bigger piece of paper. I'm going to do a second video after this if my phone will allow. Okay. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Now, I already have I'm trying to find um, my little cards some Christmas ornament uh, paper here um, the only thing is is it's made out of cards so this may not be what I want to use for this because when you fold it down it's going two different directions yeah We'll come back to this. We'll do this in the next video. Okay, so in this video, let's work on one more thing. Let me see, let me see. I want to um, decorate, I'm trying to find it here, guys, I'm sorry. I want to do some tags. I want to cut out some, of course, that's kind of boring. I don't want you guys to have to sit through that. Um, all right, you know what? Let's cut this video so I know I can get another video. All right, guys, I, I will see you in uh, Create With Me Part 2. All right, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. See you in a minute. Bye.